All right, here we go. Let's do this. We're going live. I hope the camera angle is not too painful. But this is um, what I can do right now. So this is uh, ink on paper with a sumi brush. This is India ink. I've talked about it in different videos before. Um, the cool thing about this thing is that it really is designed to do the job by itself. Sorry about that. People just uh, call early to try to sell me stuff. It's like, buy my canvases. Yeah, here's a, here's a, 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 a thought. So those people that sell canvases and art materials, um, why don't you send me some of them? And like, not like send me like supply me with them, but send me some of them. I'm always using them, and I'll make a video of your canvases or your stuff. As opposed to just trying to sell them to me so that I can give shoutouts. <laughs> Yeah, totally free, loose, and spontaneous. Yeah. See, it's just a matter of like allowing the brush to do the job, right? There's no reference photo or anything like that here. This is just, it's very simple. I think most of us know what a tree looks like or, you know. Usually for reference photos and things like that, it has to do more with like specific things like the likeness of someone or or uh, or like something very specific. I don't know, like an elephant or a giraffe. They're more like specific animals, right? Then than a landscape. A landscape's not really specific. This is why it's so free. It's so freeing to to paint landscapes in this way because you're not really you can't say well it doesn't look like something like that well you know it does right flowers are the same way they're so freeing right for that reason that's why a lot of a lot of abstract painters do flowers and and things like that because you can't really yeah Light wash with not much pressure, yeah, exactly. Where in the in the soft areas, right? So I don't just pull, I push also. So it's it's a it's a game between pulling and pushing. And then you go back to the to the saturated wash. This is not a, a demo for like realism or anything like that. This is this is just how I like to play with art. You can even play with the idea of clouds in the background. And even go more, more, say I have some paper here, go lighter if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can go lighter. And this is what this looks like. Let's do another one, right? Because we're already here, so I might as well. Yeah, totally free expression. It's supposed to be. I mean, what what else is what else is art, right? If it's not free expression, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in it. If it's not free expression, it's the one thing that you don't. You're really not censored, and many artists censor themselves by trying to get it right or it's 
like it's like playing see it gets twisted this is a little tip for you guys as i'm painting i'm twisting it so it's not just this thing and it's not light it's a bunch of little things that are happening right it's a bunch of little things that are happening so it can't there's no one fix for it at all. Like some people, some people think it's like one fix. It's it's not one fix. There's no such thing as that. It's a bunch of things, and that creates a style, and it creates a. You can even start playing with the idea of a hillside over here. And all these things are keeping in mind, right? We're keeping in mind uh, weight, composition, saturation. We're keeping all those things in mind, but but they don't really they don't really matter that much. Right? They they are important, but they're not they're not ultimately important. They're just kind of like they're there. And the more you practice, the more you discover them, and the more you can play with them and the more the easier it becomes to to the main idea is to get the artwork to be as true as possible not true in the sense of representation guys true in the in, in are you being true are you are you expressing truly are you painting truly? If you're not painting truly, then, then you know, the whole thing doesn't mean anything. I don't care if it looks like a photograph. If you're not being truly, it doesn't mean anything. And it doesn't mean anything if it's all abstract either, if you're not being truthful. You got to be truthful to yourself, right? Here's another one. I was playing with this idea earlier, and uh, I really liked it, so I'm going to... This idea I was playing with. You see, you let you sort of let the brush do the job, right? You have to let the pressure of the brush do its job. And this is why it's so important that that when when I talk about this kind of things, I, I tell you guys, don't get stuck in a style. It it's the worst thing you can do. Don't get stuck in a style. Meaning, don't get stuck in in the same thing over and over. Don't get stuck in. Don't worry about the subject. Most artists are afraid of getting stuck in a subject. Don't worry about the subject. Don't get stuck in a medium. Don't get stuck in a style, in a thing. Like change it up, play with it. So that you're able to, to discover new things. This is something that I've been playing with lately. And this is what, what gets you to be productive and, and prolific, the fact that you're not so stuck, right? You don't you don't get you don't get stuck. Some people are purchasing some water, you know, experiment, yeah. So there you guys have it. Just a little just a little demo for you guys. Uh Hell, I'll do another one. Just and then you you start playing with the different things that you're doing.
Yeah. So there you guys have it. I'll talk to you in a little bit, and uh, we'll get back to it. All right? Take care.